Heart failure is when the heart fails to pump enough blood for the metabolic needs of the body. In acute cardiac failure, the heart suddenly fails to pump sufficient blood. It occurs too suddenly for compensatory mechanisms to develop. The heart chambers fail to empty adequately and dilate. Circulation collapses with hypotension producing cardiogenic shock. This is a photograph of a mitral valve showing ruptured cordae tendinae. This will cause sudden acute cardiac failure. Chronic cardiac failure is when the heart gradually fails to pump sufficient blood. Symptoms include lethargy, breathlessness and edema. The compensatory mechanisms in chronic cardiac failure include enlargement and more effective contraction of ventricles. The blood flow is redistributed around the body by constriction of arterioles. Salt and water are retained by activation of the renin-angiotensin systems. And the cardiac muscle becomes desensitized to sympathetic stimulation. In this heart, the aortic valve is stenosed. To compensate for the increased effort to pump blood through the narrowed aortic valve, the left ventricle becomes thickened and hypertrophied. Common causes of left-sided heart failure include myocardial infarction, hypertension and mitral and aortic valve disease. The cause of left-sided heart failure in this case is stenosis of a bicuspid aortic valve. In left-sided heart failure, the left atrium and ventricle fail to empty completely and become dilated. There is increased pressure of blood in the pulmonary veins and capillaries, causing pulmonary edema. Hypotension and underperfusion and oxygenation of systemic tissues occurs. This section of lung shows features of left-sided heart failure. Pulmonary edema and extravasation of blood cause humicidrin-laden macrophages to accumulate in the alveoli. These are the cells with the brown cytoplasm that we are zooming onto. Common causes of right-sided heart failure include chronic lung disease and chronic left-sided heart failure. Here is a Gough-Wentworth section of lung showing features of fibrosing alveolitis. The honeycomb appearance is caused by the interstitial fibrosis. This causes restriction of the blood flow through the lung, resulting in right-sided cardiac failure. In right-sided heart failure, there is poor perfusion of the lungs. There is increased pressure in the systemic venous system. The liver becomes enlarged and tender with a typical nutmeg cut surface. Edema of the lower legs develops due to raised pressure in venules and capillaries and the jugular venous pressure is raised. This is the cut surface of the liver from a patient who suffered from right-sided heart failure. The congestion of the central asini in the liver results in this typical nutmeg appearance. Congestive cardiac failure is when both sides of the heart fail. The congested pulmonary capillaries in left-sided heart failure causes the right side of the heart to fail. The right ventricle has to work hard, pumping blood against increased peripheral resistance. Diseases simultaneously affecting both ventricles can also cause congestive cardiac failure. This heart has been stained with Lugol's iodine to demonstrate amyloid that is deposited in the walls of both ventricles. As a result of the amyloid deposits, both ventricles will fail, resulting in congestive cardiac failure.